Hey guys, welcome back to Bolly Piano. Here's part two of our easy arrangement of Antonal Antinerum. Here we go. Okay, so we'll look at this first. So in the right hand, we're going to be starting off with two pickup notes, C sharp and D, played with our fourth and fifth finger respectively. And then we go one, two, three, 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 one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, once without the counts, here we go. Okay, so just a bit of finger technique. Once we're done playing, I actually switch back to playing G with my thumb. One more time. It's just easier when it comes to playing the rest of the notes. Okay, and this section repeats one more time. So we'll just try it again. All right, and the left hand chords go D major followed by G major then E minor, and ending off with A major. All right, and it's gonna be exactly the same when we play it the second time. So let me just demonstrate these bars from the top. Here we go. Okay, so as you saw, these two notes are the pickup notes for the next section. All right, and that goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'll demonstrate that with other counts. Here we go. Okay, so once again, I am switching. Uh, so once I'm done with the two pickup notes, I actually play the D note with my thumb again. One more time. Okay, it's just easier to play everything with that switch. So the left hand is just going back and forth between B minor and F sharp minor, just like this. Okay, so let's just try that. Here we go, very slowly. Okay, then we have C natural this time. One, two, three, 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 one, 
two, three. Okay, without the counts, it goes like this. This is actually my favorite part because it has very nice set of uh, left hand chord progressions. So we'll go through that. We're going to first start off with C major. Okay, then we're going to move on to playing G major. And then G minor. So there are actually two chords in one bar. Once again, okay, then we have C major 7, okay, so 7 basically means it's a minor 7 in the C major scale. This would be a C, C major 7, this is a minor 7. And then we have a B minor 7. Okay, so I'll just play that one more time. Again, C major. Okay, then G major, G minor, C7, then B minor 7, then G major, back to D major. All right, I'll just play that once without stopping. Here we go. Okay. All right. And then we have this part, which we've already covered. So I won't go through that, but again, it's, um, it can be found in the previous part. Now, what happens here is that the entire part repeats one more time, uh, and then it just ends off uh, in a different way. So let me just play the part which is different, but I'll just start off over here first. This is where the new part starts. So it's really only a couple of bars. So we have the new part from the beginning of the new part. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, and the corresponding left hand goes like this G major. That's G minor. Then D major. Back to G major. Resolving back to D major. So if I just play that one more time from this part. There you have it, this is part two, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon for the entire demonstration of the song in part three. Stay tuned. <laughs>